Hey, Dave Burnett here, and today we were going to be talking about algorithms. So, um, we'll just draw a simple algorithm that our, our purpose um, will be like a um, an algorithm to help us wake up in the morning and choose whether to wear sunglasses um, and uh, what type of clothes we should wear. So either that's long pants or shorts. So uh, that's the purpose of this this little video. So let me start by giving myself some space. And with algorithms, you start from a starting point. So we'll put the start point at the top and as uh, you're probably asking yourself, you've ta said algorithm like five times already. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is just a flowchart. And if you don't know what a flowchart is, a flowchart is a chart that starts at a place and then flows down to the bottom and helps you, and along the way helps you make decisions. Um, so we'll start at the top and then we'll go into one of these like diamond diamond looking things and we'll ask the question um, is it sunny so this is the this is the starting for just um, if we should wear sunglasses or not and we'll have two arrows for the two possibilities and then we'll write our top possibilities on top of the arrows so yes it is sunny or no it is not sunny and then we will proceed so if it is sunny, then wear glasses. If it is not fun, if it is not sunny, then do not wear sunglasses. So that's about it for the first part. So that's other if we should wear sunglasses or not. So that's that part, crossed off, check. And the sex, second part is um, long pants or shorts. So basically, long pants or shorts is temperature dependent, whereas the sunglasses is uh, brightness. And I know you're, some people are saying, well, if it's sunny, then you should also wear sunglasses and long pants. Uh, but there's also the possibility of it being winter and it being really bright, a lot of snow. So you want to wear sunglasses um, and wear long pants. So what we'll do is whatever option you take, we'll just reconvene to the center. So everyone back to the center and we'll proceed from there. And then we'll go and ask another question. So we'll use another, another little diamond. And we'll just ask what is the temp and we'll just have we'll draw the line at two options and we'll say um, T for temp if it's um, less than or equal to 60 degrees Fahrenheit then we will wear um, long pants and maybe a sweater. However you spell sweater. Uh, and preferably an ugly Christmas sweater. And then on the other side, T is greater than 60. And we already took care of the equal, this equals um, case. So T is greater than 60, then wear shorts and a t-shirt. And that's basically the, the, the end of our algorithm. So we'll just come back to the center and um, something wrong with my, that's weird. Okay, and then we'll just exit. So uh, there's a couple, a couple, well, 
actually like go through this algorithm and uh, see how it's used. So we'll start at the top. Now that we've written it, yeah, it's a good color. Um, so we'll start at the top. And is it sunny today? Well, let's just say that since we're using yellow, it is sunny. Uh, so now we need to wear our sunglasses. And then we'll come back around, back to the center. Then we'll ask, hey, what's the temperature outside? And it's really cold. It's the middle of winter, it just snowed. So you need to wear long pants and a sweater. And we're done. So that's one possible path for the algorithm. Uh, another possible path could go on the other side where it's purple and it's not sunny, so we don't want to wear sunglasses. Come back around. But it's pretty hot, so we'll wear shorts and shirt. Then there's another option. And so those are like two options. And then as you can imagine, like there's gonna be a third option where you cross over and go on the other side. Um, because remember, this is a this is a junction point. There's a, a lot of possibilities that could um, reconvene there, so highlight that in red. Junction point. This is also a junction point. Uh, and yeah, there's going to be there's going to be one more one more possibility where we come around this way, back to the junction point, and then go to the other side. So yeah, those are the, the four possibilities for this algorithm. Um, and that's about it. So I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Um, hopefully I'll do more tutorials on more complex algorithms. And um, yeah, I think that's about the end of this video. If this guy's happy, learned about his algorithms. So hopefully I'll catch you around and in the next video.